and welcome all friends and devotees of yoga and meditation. Today is uh, Wednesday the 23rd of September 2015. Wednesday the 23rd of September 2015. Uh, we'll continue our um, Master Ching Kong, um, Grand Master Ching Kong, works of Grand Master Ching Kong or Grand Master Ching Kong studies. Uh, we'll continue reading the art of the living. For all those who are new, uh, we have websites attached to this particular video. We'll advise you to proceed to the websites attached to this video. And you should be able to follow us. We'll read this morning from page 23. The Art of the Living, The Art of Living, page 23. Also to inform all new uh, readers, we'll soon be having some kind of um, scholarship program uh, or prize giving program. I'm sort of trying to introduce that in my school. Um, I'm thinking of uh, students uh, giving us short summaries. Short summaries, for instance, Buddhism as an education. Those of you who are very, uh, who are um, very good in descriptive essay writing will be having some kind of essay competitions. So you should be able to, for instance, go through your Buddhism as an education to understand Buddhism and this uh, art of living. These are the three books that I strongly recommend you read them and uh, we'll soon be having essays. I'll announce when we have the essays and you'll be able to, what we require students to do is to write summaries. Summaries of what you understand from Buddhism as an education. You know, summarize Buddhism as an education. Give us the points and then we'll, we'll browse through all the students who have entered into the contest and whoever wins will get a prize of $100. $100 in Nigerian currency that should be almost 20,000 Naira. This would be the, a good prize for the winner of the contest. So we'll, we, I'm just announcing that because it's my school and I'm going to be having such a contest. I'm personally funding the contest. So those of you who are very good in descriptive writing, you'll win my prize. It's called the Aburime Prize. I'm the person that established the foundation for the prize. I'll give you $100 cash prize if you win the contest. So just be looking at that in the future. I'll, I'll announce it, I'll publish it when the contest is ready so that those who are smart enough, who are very good descriptive writers, will be able to enter for the prize. Um, today I'll start reading from um, my lecture today will be from page 23, The Art of the Living by Grandmaster Ching Kong. Practitioners need to completely understand the Buddha's teachings because they lead us to perfect, free-spirited and prosperous living. If we misinterpret the teachings, then we will not benefit from them. While Buddhism emphasizes the principles, it puts more stress on our practice. If our practice fails to follow these principles, then we have missed the point. Take the Diamond Sutra, Diamond Sutra for example. As it begins, the Buddha takes us into his daily life. This is unlike other Mahayana Sutras in which he would release radiant light at the beginning of his talk. However, this talk is all about everyday life, every action, the Buddha has taken has revealed his virtues and merits due to his commitment of practicing Buddhahood through infinite lifetimes. The Avatamsaka Flower Adornment Sutra tells us that one is all and all is one. One refers to a matter of or subject, any matter or any subject. For example, dressing is one activity, eating is another activity. From the moment we decide to begin our practice till the time we achieve enlightenment, our merits are accumulated and revealed through our efforts and commitment. Daily activities are the way of practice. However, most of us cannot see this. Why not? Because of our lack of wisdom. Subhuti, one of the Buddha's main students, explained it for us. We all get up every morning, dress and eat. What do we have to show for this? Infinite lifetimes of 
committing misdeeds and the resultant sufferings due to incorrect understanding of the purpose of life and our environment. Buddhas and Bodhisattvas show us the art and the correct way of living. If we understand the Diamond Sutra, we will understand everything around us and in the universe. Beings who do not understand are called, beings who do understand, who come to an understanding are called Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Those who do not are called ordinary people. We all possess the abilities of Buddhas, but we are temporarily lost and have forgotten what we possess. This is why we must practice to learn how to live our lives. Practicing Buddhism means correcting our erroneous thoughts and actions in our daily lives. Those of us who understand focus on the root of the problem, which means we focus on correcting our thoughts while others focus on their actions. By only correcting our actions, we may gain some improvement. However, this is similar to only taking care of the branches and leaves of a tree while neglecting its roots. The most effective way, as pointed out in the Diamond Sutra, is to correct our thoughts by attacking the roots of all that is wrong or erroneous. What are the guidelines for practicing Buddhism? Buddha Shakyamuni told us they are the three learnings, which are precepts or rules, deep concentration and wisdom. Precepts refer to following all of the Buddha's teachings, not just the basic five or ten precepts. They also include following customs, rules and laws wherever we are. Law-abiding people have a clear conscience, so their misdeeds, they have a clear conscience so that their minds are peaceful and they can more easily concentrate, whereas people who often break laws are generally unable to concentrate. Therefore, following rules and obeying laws enables us to achieve enables us to achieve the concentration that allows us to uncover the wisdom that we already possess. The Platform Sutra of the Sixth Patriarch, Grandmaster Hui Nang, is praiseworthy for its high level of wisdom. We can understand why the Sixth Patriarch told us, uh, told his master, that he often generated wisdom. We, on the other hand, often generate affliction. He achieved this high level because his mind was pure. He had a pure mind. Our minds are filled with afflictions, attachments, discriminating and wandering thoughts, all causes of reincarnation. To alter this course requires us to cleanse our minds of these pollutants. Pollutants. To accomplish this, Buddha Shakyamuni gave us the four mentioned three guidelines which are also contained in the Infinite Life Sutra, the full title of which is the Buddha speaks of the Infinite Life Sutra of adornment, purity, equality, and enlightenment of the Mayana school. Purity refers to precepts. Equality refers to meditation. Enlightenment refers to wisdom. These are also expressed as the triple jewels representing respectively the Sangha, the Dharma, and the Buddha. Please do not mistake the physical images of triple jewels for their true essence. The Diamond Sutra clearly tells us, one who sees images of oneself, other human beings, all beings, and life is not a Bodhisattva. In other words, Looking beyond physical aspects is the correct way to understand these guidelines. I stop there at this point, folks, and I'll leave you to reflect, meditate, contemplate on these teachings. And if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with me. My email address um, is c.aburime, aburime, a b u r i m e, c.aburime at hotmail.com or Color College, color spelled British, C O L O U R C L L E G at hotmail.com. Thanks, folks. Have a most pleasant midweek. It's midweek today, Wednesday. Namuami to four.